Privacy. Apple wants to sell it to you at a premium. Let's talk about what they want to do to protect your email. Last time, I gave a brief overview of what Apple announced for this year's WWDC, their yearly software development conference. But I couldn't cover all the privacy features they plan to release because it was just a lot. When I broke it all down, I decided to split up privacy into separate videos covering email, apps in Safari, and Siri and iCloud. Today, I'll talk about email. When a user gets an email, the sender doesn't really get any kind of confirmation. Like a real-world letter, the sender will only know if the letter couldn't be delivered. But if it is delivered, the sender won't get any information on when or where the user opened it, or even if they opened it, or just threw it in the trash. Marketers don't like that. So they've come up with ways to get clues about the user's behavior after they receive the letter or er, email. Imagine the user gets an email and there is a link to get a discount coupon. When they click the link, it takes them to their browser. Just by asking for the web page in the browser, the marketer will know when the user interacted with the email. But it gets even better for the marketer. Every time an image file is loaded in an email, even while still in the email app, it's the same as clicking a link, but it happens automatically and at the very instant the user opened the email, not when they chose to interact with the link. And there's more. The marketer can choose to embed an image that consists of one clear pixel. The user won't even know that it's there. Along with the user's request for a link or image, the user's IP address gets sent to the marketer too. Think of an IP address like a sort of telephone number for your internet device. And just like you can get an idea about what part of the country a call comes from just by looking at the area code, marketers can get a general idea of where a user is by looking at the IP address. And just like that, the marketer will know if the email was opened, when it was opened, and where. Okay, so Apple wants to give, or rather sell, users control over this. Here's how they'll do it. When users request an image or link from the email app on a Mac or iOS device, the request will be encrypted and sent first to an Apple Relay server. Then the server sends it to the marketer. All the marketer sees is that the request came from Apple. It's basically using Apple as a go-between, kind of like how a real estate agent keeps sellers and buyers from meeting directly. This feature comes as part of iOS 15 and macOS Monterey for Apple owners at no additional cost. For users with a paid iCloud Plus subscription, there will be an additional feature called Hide My Email. Built into Safari and the Apple Mail app, users will be able to make a dummy email account to give to websites that demand an email account to gain access to a product or service. The dummy email will automatically forward to users' main email, the one they use for work and family. This way, if the marketer gets a little too spammy or they sell the email account to a third party, the user can just dispose of the phony email address. In theory, the user can create as many of these proxy accounts as they like, perhaps one for every new service, and iOS 15 and macOS Monterey will manage them all seamlessly. If it works as planned, it will greatly reduce unwanted emails and give finer control over who actually has the addresses that are really important to users. Next time, I'll cover Apple's privacy plans for apps and websites. Check out my WWDC review if you missed it and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Take care.